Well, hello, hello, everyone. So if you are new here, I would like to welcome you to my channel. This is DeCarlo's Decades of Decor. And if you are coming back to watch again, well, thank you and welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple months since we've been out and about. So today is the day. I'm planning on a couple stops um, to the ReStore and to a thrift store. And it's, oh, the sun I think is maybe coming out. It was a, a cloudy, gloomy day. So uh, let's see how things go and I'll see you when we get to that first stop. <music> I showed you a quick little snippet while we were in there of the things that I found that were in my cart. When they remodeled, they wound up moving all their housewares, glasswares, all in the very front of the store. Uh, I don't know. I, and it was all in the open, so uh, I wound up, I didn't feel comfortable filming actually, <laughs> walking around, but I wanted to give you a, a quick showing of what I did find and something else that I pointed down to in the cart that you may not have been able to tell was this beautiful cake plate. It's got the hand painted flowers on it. Let's see if I can get it out of the glare. And I spent only $1.50 on it. This was made by Lefton. And again, it's hand painted. This was a deal and great for spring and summertime. You can use it as a riser or uh, put a candle in the middle um, or use for a centerpiece if you don't want to use it for a cake or a cupcake plate. So here we go. We're going to head on over to our next stop. Come on along. Okay, we are at our second and it's going to be our final stop of the day. Now this thrift store uh, is a nonprofit and it uh, helps out a local ministry. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. It, it looks small from the outside, but it is huge. Um, last year they wound up keeping their Christmas year up, Christmas room up all year long. So I'm gonna see if uh, they're doing that again today. So here we go. So this is where we're heading in. It's a bargain store for sure. Let's go see what kind of things we can find and what it kind of uh, decades they have and uh, see which is your favorite. Okay, let's see what's in this case. Oh, that bird is cute. They want 55 for that. Wow. And 40 for the set of Fenton. Wow. Oh, what's the color? Orange? Red? Oh, what's that? 24 karat gold electroplate serving set. They want 26 on that. I think that's red. 40, 20. I have to take a look at that one. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. The color is blue. 250. Oh, there's the head of a doll. A little oil lamp. Oh, look at that beautiful cake plate. So the color is blue. 
Oh, Betty and Veronica. I remember that cartoon it used to be on Saturday morning. Blue, blue. I'm gonna see this. Wait, wait. Hey, and what's that? I wonder who makes that cake plate. Oh, there's some uh, Hoosier cabinet containers to put your spices in. Those are eleven fifty for the set. Oh, those blue. There's one of the nesting Russian dolls. Oh, an old pair of glasses. Wow, those are really old. Oh, that's as, as is. That's a beautiful fountain. Oh, this picture's nice. It's got a little etch design. It's $16.50. Oh, what's this? There seems to be a candle stuck. I'm not quite sure of the purpose of that. There's a hole in the bottom that goes all the way up. have a lot of craft items here. You need books for a needle stitch, patterns. Boy, they got everything. Make some quilts. Here's a cute little spice jar from Japan. A ginger jar, I think it's called. Oh, the praying hands. Three dollars. I already have a pair of those at home now. Oh, her little hat is cracked. Let's see this one. I think these are California pottery. They were made in the U.S. Detail on him though. Oh, look at these. <laughs> Little whimsical homemade cat. Let's see. Sake set. I'm assuming it's a little sake set. Little shoes. Little 
wooden dog. Looks like he's from the 70s. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here's some boopy glass. Not so far. Ooh, that's that's Selb from Bavaria. Two four six. Ah, but they're two dollars a piece. Not marked. Punch punch bowls. Now here is some of the Manhattan dishes. Got some here last time I was here. That's probably been five, six months ago though. Three fifty white. I like that. There's some spots. It's coming apart. I still want flat bucks though. Hmm. This room. Let's go see. Oh, that's cool. Oh, those are dots. That's not needlepoint made to look like it. That's really cool. Those look like transfers. Ooh. Some 
the hardware is different. Oh, manager special. Wow. It's got the finials up top. Oh, it's missing glass. This one's old. Wow. And you want, oh, they have antique silver with a question mark for 175. Well, now this is new. He's missing an eye. Oh, there's a little miniature girl. He wants seven. Twenty-three. Who makes him? It's originally forty for that elf. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I'd like to look at that. Is that girly candles? I'm not in great shape though for 350. I like that deer. Vintage holiday kitsch. Well, maybe we'll have to ask to get in there. I want to see those. Christmas houses. Oh, and little tins. Oh, sorry about that. I thought that was noisy. It wasn't on there tight. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a coin dot face. Oh, it's got a big crack in it. And they still have it marked for $7.50. Oh, here's a look at my cart. I think this is the first time that I have been in here that I have not found anything yet. I still want to get in that case, so let's see how much a couple of those other things are. Okay, let me go find a worker. I'll be back with you in a second. All right, well, we just got out of that second thrift store. I think that's the least amount of things uh, in a long, long time. Some of the other items that I was looking at... Uh, They've been marking more things up there instead of just putting them out as normal. So 
I'll see about the uh, those clear glasses from Manhattan and uh, once they mark them down a little bit more and then there's a couple other things so uh, when they go half price or whatever but I did find two things I found this cute little snowman his little styrofoam on the bottom it shows that he was made in Japan from the what, late 50s, 60s. And then the other thing that I did wind up getting, I'm trying not to really touch him, he was in really good shape and he's still very, very white. But the other thing that I found, I did go back up and I found this cake plate. And it is gorgeous. That's a uh, very heavy gilded gold plate and design. It's got it around the base. And then, I don't know if you can see, there's an R. So this stands for Rosenthal, which was made by them. It's porcelain. And uh, it does come from Germany. So uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is in mint condition. It's really nice. No marks, no knife marks, no flea bites, nothing. So uh, I did check up online and a couple of them sold for over $150. So I said, okay, I did pay up on this and I did spend 25. So, but for what they're going for, uh, and there's only, I think two of them right now that are listed. So I figured I thought I would take a little chance so that was uh, also a little thrift haul from the two stores and I think I'm done for the day. I see it's supposed to uh, storm in a little while so I think I better get myself home. I have a lot of stuff to do and have to catch up on uh, eBay. So again, thank you for watching and uh, head on over to the eBay store. If you look in the about section on my YouTube page, it will give you the name that I use for eBay. and. Uh, Go check things out. I have quite a variety and a lot of different decades. So uh, see if anything strikes your fancy. And thanks for going through the decades with me at DeCarla's Decades of Decor.